All right, hello y'all. We gotta figure out this paycheck. <laughs> oh my goodness. So all together for the first, so this is for the first week, okay? Next week will be something different. But for the first week, cause I do get paid weekly at Amazon. With Amazon, I'm bringing $301.75. And then with the first paycheck of every month, I do get like an additional money from elsewhere. And that would be $409. So I'm going to write that down here in blue. <laughs> so that's a total of $710.75 that we will be working with. So let's take a look. Um, I will say already for the dogs, we went over, um, as you see, I put $20 down, but I bought them some dog treats that will last us for like a month or two or a month and a half. And I bought them a big bag of dog food. So that is already over and that's around $35. So let me bring out my handy dandy calculator and let's start subtracting. Oh boy. And once again, I, I still have some money I can make. Now this all depends on how many hours I work this week. That will be paid out next week. Today is Friday the 28th. And so far on Sunday I worked, but they offered VTO so I took it so I ended up only working two hours at 20 hours per uh per hour there was a surge pay I did work yesterday which was Thursday I worked a full five hours and that's at $15 an hour and really y'all uh, I don't feel like going back into work for the rest of this week so I don't know I may have to pull from savings but we'll get those final numbers next week but let's just work with this week's um, information here. So we have $710.75. We already used $35 for the dogs. And we already use, I will say it's $19 for food. I didn't do like any type of, um, let me put this down, $19 for food so far, <sighs> minus 19, so that leaves us with $656.75. We do know that we have to pay rent the other half of rent it's not even four hundred and fourteen dollars or fifteen dollars though it would be less than that but i'm still gonna put four hundred and fourteen away or fifteen i keep saying four fourteen four fifteen so we'll do four fifteen for that and then we do have to make sure we have power in the house right so that's a minus a hundred and thirteen And of course, um, I should have wrote that down in um, pencil because I do want to make sure we have the full, we may go over in groceries. I don't know yet. We shall see. So what is that? Uh, so we have $128 left. Um, school loan. And that is something that doesn't have to be paid. Allowance, we don't have to do either. So let me do this here. Um, so versus me just doing minus nineteen dollars because that's how much i spent so far on groceries let me just do the full 50. so let's do the full 50. i'm just gonna write 50 down 
and then I'll put I already spent 19 I have it written down over here so I guess I'll, I'll just keep that um is anything due on my Capital One large credit card right now? I got, oh man, I should have looked at that before I did this. After this, I plan on going to Lido to see what meats are, if there's any meats um, at the reduced price of $1.50. I'm planning on making that lasagna, so I do have to get like ricotta cheese. Um, we do have mozzarella cheese. I got to see if it's still good though. Um, and we have Parmesan cheese, so, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Cause I need gas in the car, but I don't need that much gas. Mm. Let's still say minus 30. Oops. Let's get back to the front. Minus 30 for gas. And as I mentioned, whatever I get paid for next week will help me uh, cover the rest. When is this one due? Hold on. Well, that will be due. Capital One Large is due on the 4th. I don't think I have a, a payment due. Because I think I paid it all off. But then the newer balance... That won't be due until next time. I think it's like 20 So let's say like $30. And if this changes, I'll write this in here. Let's say $30 for that. Minus 30 I think it's at $27. Um, so we have $37.75 left. I guess we're not getting an allowance. Dogs, we went over. So I guess for house items, hold on, house items we'll get, this is kind of hard because this is for one week. Now we're gonna keep house items. But I may not pay that out right now. Or I may not. Let's do... Um, 37.75. So let's say minus 25. Yeah, that works. So this 30, we'll do 37, 75. I don't know how I'm gonna split that up just yet between me and James, but that will help us with our, I mean, he still has money for food out um, he has his own money, so if he wants to eat out, he can do that. Um, yeah, that's going to be it. So let's just wrap this up. So with this seven, first paycheck for this week, um, we'll have $710.75. We'll be putting the $415 towards rent. We do have to make sure we pay Dominion of $113. I will do my Capital One Large of only $30. Um, the allowance will be at $37.75. And once again, I don't know how I'll split that up between me and James. I don't know if I'll give him his full $25. Probably shouldn't because he hasn't been doing dishes. But we'll see. I will need gas in the car. I don't think I will need a full $30. But we'll say $30. We're doing groceries at... 50 to get it out the way with I won't be putting anything in food out just yet I'll put this in blue so this is for the first week 
maintenance will be at zero house items will be at zero and laundry will be at zero for right now i actually still have ten dollars that i'm carrying over <sighs> so there we go so far y'all that's how i'm gonna do it for right now and then we'll see what i work <laughs> I probably will have at least $100 coming in next week. Um, and then I can put that towards these other things and like our allowance. So yeah, it's a tight, tight one. But you know what? We're going to make do with what we have. Thank you guys for watching. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.